guitar. We all know what that could mean. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Music. Uh, if, if, you'll, if you'll join your, uh, your colleagues down there. Okie dokie. You know what? Before we introduce, before we probably introduce um, Maria, Florida and Maria, I am 16, going on 17. Huh? Did you sing that song? No, actually, I was the 13-year-old girl. Louisa? Yeah. Oh, and the older girl is the island 16 year So you sang the, Au revoir, farewell, so long, farewell. Oh, it is a We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, <laughs> introduce yourself, please. Uh, I'm Maria from Iceland. Um, I am performing Unbroken, um, which is written by Stop It Go. I am 22 years old. Oh, sorry, if you want to all introduce yourselves, there are microphones right in front of you, so everyone knows who's who. Uh, I'm Ausker Ore Auskerson, one of three songwriters, uh, part of the songwriting team Stop by Go. We're very excited to be here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I am uh, Philip Tov, and uh, I am one of the so many other... five, five backing vocals. Yes, my name is Alma Ruth. I'm one of the backing vocals as well. I'm Lida Zorn. I'm one of the backing vocals also. Okay, I just want to get back to this um, uh, musical experience and background that you have. You, uh, Maria performed in The Sound of Music, and as she just said, as Louisa, as one of the Von Trapp, von Trapp children. You guys are familiar with the sound of music, the movie and the musical, right? Anyone? Yeah. No? Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a much loved classic. Uh, I think it celebrated its 50th anniversary uh, this year. Lady Gaga did a medley of the songs at the Oscars just a few short months ago. And it's much, much, much loved. And it's weird because the movie is about a family um, in war-torn Austria. Uh, but in Austria, it's not as popular as it is around the world, which is kind of uh, bizarre. But anyways, it's very, very, very much loved on the stage and on the screen. And Maria played Luisa. Tell me about that, where that was and how that came to be. Um, it was in, in theater in Reykjavik. Uh, uh, I was 16 then. Ah. And uh, I played 13 years old because I was all little. And I still am. Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was it was huge, huge in Iceland. When when you found that you were going to come to Austria, did you find that your experience with, with this quintessentially Austrian story was a good help as a background? Yeah, yeah. And I thought of a song of music when I when I think of, when I think of Austria. Yeah, I think about song of music. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right. Okay. Cool. Now, um, so many so interesting. Musical artists come from Iceland, right? I mean, there's a there's a huge breath. Of course, the first person everyone thinks of is Björn, right? Mm -hmm. At I least in, in, in my generation now, in our in our generation. Um, so, what's happening in Iceland? What's the what what is the atmosphere that uh, such varied and such um, I would say very very particular type of music comes from Iceland? Well, that do you think? Uh, it's hard. <laughs> I think it's just because uh, we're a small island in the middle of nowhere and we're not so, that concerned about uh, the countries around us, so we're just uh, writing stuff. So sometimes for ourselves. influence is not ne necessary for this creativity. Right? It's just your creativity yes. through Iceland. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I cannot wait to visit Iceland. I'm going to do that. I plan to do that with my dad next year. It's going to be good. Okay, so let's have some questions. I guess the gentleman in the back with the trip, or sort of light blue t shirt. Yes, you're the one. Hi, I'm Robin from ESCToday.com. First of all, I must say I videoed some opinions after the rehearsal, and they were all positive. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Iceland has a, a, a very. Iceland has 
uh, is so enthusiastic about Eurovision. It, that is 95% of the population, I think, watch it on the night. Do you have any Eurovision traditions? Something that, that you do? Yeah, uh, I watch it every year with my mom because my dad is, uh, my mom and dad are on the phone and the sheep are uh, giving birth. <laughs> so <laughs> I watch it with my mom and then after years and we go and see the little lambs. That's <laughs> so sweet. That's such a life cycle. Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, next question. Yes, lady in the purple um, with her hand up still. Yeah, there's a microphone on the way to you. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm from Eurovisionary.com. This question is actually to Frederick. And, uh, I was wondering if you could sing a bit of your entry from the Asiatic final. I could sing it. Yeah, I, I, I can sing it. <laughs> Wait a second, can you do a little introduction of the song? Yeah. Some people don't know what it is. Yeah, so uh, I, I, am, I was the runner up in Iceland, in the, in the Icelandic final. Uh, and my song was, it still is, called uh, Once Again. And uh, it's also written by the Stop It Go team. So it was a funny moment in Iceland when they had gone through, but it was only me and Maria who didn't know who would go with them. <laughs> But I know. <laughs> anyway, it was, uh, it was a great experience to take part and an even better experience to be there with you. So, this is once again. Remember the day Walking together down memory lane Wondering what could and what should have been Remember, remember I remember the light of the moon, the smell of your perfume, the taste of your lips and the touch of your hand. Oh, let me hold you once again. We'll stay up for hours like when we first met. And I'll bring you flowers and violets. No, oh, 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 tell me again that this is your love and it isn't worth it. You don't feel the rush underneath the surface, and I'll try to forget. Gorgeous song, very romantic. Um, I like the fact that you guys were competitors, but now you're and you are at the same time in the same family. I love that. It's really cool. That that is building bridges right there, <laughs> right? The old motto of Eurovision 2015. Okay, who's up next? Um, yes, sir, with the long hair, who's waving, and there's no way I could deny him. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hi. I just want to know, is this your first time to Vienna? And if it is, what was the first thing that you did in Vienna apart from coming here? You know, like go to a cafe, museum, something like that? Um, I came here in um, February or March, I think, to, to, to make the postcard. And then I can talk more about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good morning, Team Iceland, and also, of course, Maria. Welcome to Vienna. Uh, I've read that you are an actress, a singer, a songwriter. How do you combine it all, and what do you prefer out of these three to do? Oh, um, I just like uh, to be 
to sing and act and dance all together. So hopefully in the future I will be work, working in that business. So I can't choose, but if I have to choose, I choose the singing. Uh, yes, Dominic. Long time no see, buddy. Thank you, Irene. Hi. Uh, hi, Maria. Uh, your Eurovision Song Contest never happened in Iceland in history. What if it happens? Is Reka Week prepared for? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one time uh, you, you thought about because there is just one hall and it's called Bauhaus, uh, anything like that? Just one hall? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you come on, don't put Iceland on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ed, you want to go first? We have a big sport hall, so <laughs> maybe we can have it there. <laughs> or outside. Yeah, outside in Iceland would be good because God knows the landscape is beautiful enough for yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going to take one question from one of our online participants at um, hashtag Ask Eurovision. This is from Selvin. Um, Selvin asks, what is the meaning of your song Unbroken? Is it anything related to you somehow? Um, my song Unbroken is about getting out of the dark and into the light um, and you need courage to do that and it happens to everyone, me also, so I think most people can connect with the song. We have a few short minutes, I see from my colleague that he's looking at me like, I'd like to play this guitar now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the message, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, sure. Who wants to hear? Uh, yes! Yeah. 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 One step at a time Out of the darkness One foot in front of the other One step at a time Distance, you can't me to uncover. I'm letting go. Together. 
miss that coffee now that's uh, Vietnamese for so beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, peoples, I want to remind you, this is the photo wall and not the interview wall. The interview cabins, you can make appointments with the artists and do your interviews, you know, with